Hey guys, welcome to the arcade and in this video I kind of want to go through more like a first impressions of the uh, the Marvel vs Capcom 2 cabinet. So um, the day before yesterday got the thing built up and running, all turned on. Everything was, uh, was grand, I'm very happy with a few little uh, Issues I had during the uh, the build, but that's just because I'm kind of doing it on my own. And this one was a bit bigger, a bit more complicated, as I keep mentioning. And I think it just, um, yeah, we just had a bit of uh, awkwardness with one person trying trying to do it. But I think it went well. It was all built. It all powered on. Everything is looking really grand. So, like I say, I just wanted to go through sort of first impressions. The build quality is as you would expect from Arcade 1UP. Um, actually a couple of extra um, strengthening uh, or support struts in the back of the cabinet. Um, that seems to... I would say that definitely helps in regards to some of the the the, uh, the other ones. I always thought that they, they were just held on by, I think it was three... Um, three struts so I think it, it, it adds a little bit more uh, rigidity to it but it, it's kind of good because it is that little bit taller so I'm happy with that uh, the coin door the I, no you can't really see it down here the the molded coin door I love that's the first one uh, first cabinet I have with this uh, coin door I do agree that uh, I would have liked to have had the um, the 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 coin slots uh, lit up now. I know I can do that sort of aftermarket, which I might do because it's not very It's not a very big mod um, plugs into a USB port in the back of the PCB to power the the lights just sort of drill through the This panel here and, and you've got it going so I may go ahead and do that just because it adds a bit more to the The ambience I guess of the the cabinet it, it, it does look absolutely gorgeous but just having these two buttons lit up would just add to that um, control panel I like the new height it's a, a little bit higher I like the slant on it it does make it um, easier to access the controls uh, I, I, I think the slant is definitely well welcomed um, I'm not too concerned with this we uh, we, we lip on the side I haven't encountered myself hitting that I think the width of it is is grand I'm, I'm not too concerned with that the screen itself absolutely beautiful loving it um, no complaints there. The marquee. Um, now I know people have said that it is a little bit pixelated, and they are right. So if you go in close, you can see that it's uh, a low quality print. But you know, you're standing back here. You you, you look up at it once in a while. That's maybe it. Um, I have no problems with it. If it ever bothers me, yeah, maybe uh, we'll. Um, We'll look at replacing it. The, the 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 speakers. Hang on one second, just while I I'll, I'm just gonna uh, just gonna do this. That's like the the sound quality is excellent. Hang on. So that's at four. There's eight. So let's take it up to the, the max here. So. So there's it going up to fifteen. That's as loud as it can get now. I'm kind of listening. I once it restarts the the. The, the sound and everything like that. I'm, I didn't hear any blowing out or anything. Still not. I, I think that's, the speakers in this are really, really good. Let's get it back down. So, stay at four for now. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna take it up but beyond sort of mid-range at the most. Uh, I think the, the speakers are cracker. I did notice an issue while playing uh, one game of Marvel vs. Capcom where in the middle of the match the, the volume went down on me which was strange, I was nowhere near the uh, the, the volume control Now I did see that uh, Cool Toy did report on this as well so maybe it is something that um, something within the firmware that's causing a little bit of a glitch hopefully that can be resolved I've only encountered it once and I did play it for quite some time um, so far like I've had I don't know about 20 odd matches offline I've only had a couple online because um, I have to go against the the Americans so I have to wait on them waking up 
the online play, uh, I can't really comment on that too much because the cabinet at the moment is Wi-Fi and my Wi-Fi out here is poor. So over the weekend I am going to be installing an Ethernet cable into the back of that. Hopefully then I can give you a better idea of how I feel with regards to the um, to the online gameplay. Uh, controls, brilliant. I do like the, the, new, the, the new sticks. There's definitely a bit more of uh, a resistance there which is really nice for sort of getting the, the hyper combos in buttons. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, buttons are pretty much the, the same. Sorry, I'm hitting my, uh, my turtle's cabinet beside me. Uh, yeah, uh, buttons feel about the same, but I have no complaints with uh, how it's been going. I've been able to pull off the moves when I want them. So I'm going to say buttons are fair. Will they stand the test of time on this one? No, I don't know. That's something that we'll have to. Um, that's something I'll have to look back on. Uh, the headphone jack haven't really used. Don't really intend to. So it's there if you want it. Happy days. I am overly happy with how the cabinet has turned out. I'm very pleased. Um, I'm very pleased with the game selection on it. I know people kind of give off about the gems of war and. Um, it's the X-Men one. Um, something Apocalypse? Mutant Academy? Is that what it was? I, I haven't uh, gone into them too too much. Yeah, they're, they're fun wee uh, sort of side-scrolling beat-em-ups. I agree, I would have loved to have the, the Punisher on this, but that's uh, completely out of people's control. Um, perfectly fine. Um, I haven't experienced any lag or anything like that, at least not that I've noticed. Now, I'm not really a competitive fighting uh, player. I play them for fun. So I can't say that I've noticed any any lag or anything like that. I'm enjoying the games. Uh, definitely the, the marquee game is loads of fun. Now, I do know that in my custom build, I was able to force slow down uh, when performing some of the, the larger hyper combos, which had like a lot of sprites and things on. Uh, on screen. Done the same on this, haven't experienced it, so I'm fairly happy with how it's performing. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, the original, I've had lots of fun on, on that. It's uh, it's great to pick that up again uh, and play. I need to get into some of the, the X-Men vs. Street Fighter ones that I haven't played before, so I'll go through that in order to get a proper review done. But I'm really, really pleased with the look of the cab, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me see. Get you the side of the cabinet. Now, the artwork on here is absolutely gorgeous. I know people have said that it's not arcade accurate. I don't think that's fair, simply because this didn't have a dedicated cabinet. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was uh, on the, the Naomi system, and those were mostly... Um, the, the Candy Kid, sort of Astro City and, uh, and things like that. It didn't have a, a stand-up uh, cabinet like this, so there was no artwork really for them to go off. I think what they've done is fantastic. It looks brilliant. Um, I think it's a high quality print. I'm, like, I have no complaints over that. I, I think some people have said that it's pixelated, but really I'm not, I don't see it. I think it is a high quality, um, print on the side of that and I'm very very happy sorry I'll move that back in a minute but yeah I really really dig this cabinet I'm happy that I've picked it up uh, there's not really much more to say I will get into a bit more depth with regards to um, the games uh, in my in my full review one thing I will say is if we jump back Hopefully you can still see the screen. You can. Come on, wait. This menu here, a little difficult to navigate. Um, I kind of saw myself getting a little lost when I was going through it. Uh, one of the things I don't like is if we go onto the online games here. So we'll just jump into uh, Danger Room 1. So up you come. Oh, someone's actually online. Ooh. Uh, so 
quick match. See, uh, can can you see that? So it's darkened when I highlight it, which seems wrong. To me, that should be it highlighted. That should be when I'm off it. Little tweaks like that just to the UI would make a big difference, make it a little easier to uh, go back and forth, you know. Um, other than that though, I'm very happy. I will be playing this for God knows how long now. Uh, I'm gonna try and get myself up uh, with Marvel vs. Capcom and then when the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 lobbies open up, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to get on that if anyone's uh, up there and looking for uh, a bit of a, a game, look me up. Um, I am CHQ Arcade, all one word. Um, and yeah, drop me a drop me a request, and we'll we'll have a game. Anyway, if anyone else out there in the UK has picked this cabinet up, let me know your thoughts in the comments below because I'd love to hear them. Thank you very much for for joining me today, guys, and I will see you again very soon. Take it easy. Thank you.